Hey everyone, Lewis here again. Welcome back to my channel. So on this video, I'm going to show you guys how um, how to do product research for your Amazon FBA business. And if you guys haven't joined my free VIP Amazon group, I'm going to post the link in my description below. And that way you guys can join my free weekly calls and also network and learn with other sellers. So with that said, here's my video for today. Um, so this is how you look for products to sell on your Amazon FBA business. So um, I use softwares like Keepa, Seller Amp, and IP Alert to do product research. So I have a lot of videos here on my playlist. If you guys want a more deeper um, understanding on how to use Keepa and Seller Amp, right? So for this one, we usually look at the supplier website and Amazon website, right? So I open them up side by side, and I just make sure that the products match. And once I find out that they do match, I I get the cost of the product. So this one is six ninety nine. And then what I do is I plug the cost here under the, the cost price. Um, this one is kind of interesting because it's really low, really cheap. If you guys can see here, it's giving me a three hundred percent ROI, which is very unusual. So let me just double check if this is really the right product. Um, looks like the same product. This is brand new. Oh, it's pre-owned, I think. That's why. Oh, it is pre-owned. Okay. Makes sense. So this one is a pre-owned product. It's not brand new. That's the reason why it's really cheap. Um, but what I, what I can do, though, is that I can probably list this product as a used product. Oh, okay, so these are used products. Makes sense. Um, yeah, I would list this as a used product. And the used products are priced lower. So I want to say I can sell this at $23.49, right? So, let, so let, let me plug it here at $23.49. So this used product... Um, is giving you a 75% ROI. It's only selling at seven times a month though. So I would look at the variation. It's a variation, right? It says V right here. So it means variation. So I would go down to the variations tab right there. You click on the exact variation. It usually auto clicks or auto selects. And from there, I click on check. So this exact variation is getting 100% of the sales. Um, so it's getting seven sales a month, but then again, there's only five other sellers on this listing and yeah, I think this one is good because you, you can share seven sales with these other sellers here. So yeah, I think this one is a good one. It's giving you a high ROI, but to be conservative, I can price this at $23. It gives me a 74% ROI. Five dollars profit, um, seven sales a month. It's not the best, but this product does not have a lot of competition. So, next one. So it's a Hasbro Star Wars action figure. Price is four eighteen. It's Mandalorian product. So this one is selling at 13 times a month. So I would go down and see if I want to share the sales with other sellers. So sorry, again, 13 sales a month, right? And there's 16 other sellers here with this much inventory. So to me, that's way too many sellers on this listing. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of sellers here. I mean, this this is this is gonna be a low a slow moving product. Um, it could be okay if you were gonna be willing to wait because it gives you a very high ROI anyway. So if you're willing to wait, this could be a decent product. So again, it's selling at 13 cents a month. 
um, it's giving you, I mean, this one is giving you a negative ROI, but from here, right? If you price it here at $13 all the way to down here, it's going to be giving you 22% all the way to like 100% ROI. The sales per month is really low, but again, if you're willing to wait, this is, is a decent product. All right, next one is a ballast um, sunglasses. So let's see. So what is so the color is tur tortoise copper polarized. Come on, I see it here. Oh, right there, tur tortoise. Um. Let's see. I mean, I think they're the same. Frame is the color. But they look the same as far as the photo. Actually, no. Do they? Man, this one is kind of fusing. Um, man, this one's kind of... Yeah, this one I'm not sure if they really match because there's only one photo here. But they seem the same. So, yeah, I'll just plug in the numbers and see if it even makes sense to take a risk on this product. So, cost is 108, right? This one is selling at 35 times a month. Again, it's a variation. So, I would go down to variation tab here pick the variation it usually, it usually auto selects so click there check um so this variation is getting seven percent of all the sales so seven percent of 35 is about 20 sales a month right and then from here, you would just have to decide if you were willing to share 20 sales a month with these other sellers. Um, and it's giving you a 36% ROI or higher. So to me, this is, I mean, a pretty decent product. Let's look at the Keepa chart. So Amazon is on the listing. So what I like to do is when Amazon is on the listing, I usually like to go to buy box analysis. And then I want to see if Amazon is taking all the sales. So if you look here, right, Amazon is getting 32% of the sales right there. Vision Group here is getting 60% of the sales and the other sellers are getting a portion of the sales. So to me, this is pretty okay to jump into. Um, this guy, Vision Group, is getting a lot of sales. But yeah, this one is pretty okay to me. Um, 20 sales a month. With this many people, with this much inventory, ROI is this. I mean, the profit is really high, right? Because it's a high ticket product. So to me, this is a good one. Um, the only concern is I want to make sure that they really match as far as uh, um, the product. But if they do, um, this one's a good one. And I hope you guys got value from the video. Again, if you guys haven't joined my free VIP Amazon group, I'm going to post the link in my description below. And that way you guys can... Um, join my group, attend my weekly trainings, and also network with other sellers. And with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.